Porsche's first electric sports car is here. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Taycan Turbo S. The Taycan is Porsche's first electric sports car, and this is a true sports car. The Taycan has a top speed of 161 miles per hour. It can go zero to 60 in 2.6 seconds and has a range of 192 miles on a single charge. The Taycan comes in three different packages, the Taycan 4S, the Taycan Turbo, and then the Taycan Turbo S. And in this video, we're gonna break down that Taycan Turbo S. Now, one of the first things you're gonna notice about the Taycan is that it has an overall sports car feel. It definitely has that clash of Porsche look, uh, and it's go not gonna feel necessarily like an electric vehicle because it is gonna look and drive exactly like you would expect a Porsche to look and drive. So one of the big things you're gonna notice on the front of the vehicle here is that it has these air curtains on the side. These are designed to improve the aerodynamics and actually reduce turbulence by allowing air to kind of come in and go over the wheels. Uh, and then we have our headlights. We have the four-point LED headlights, which give it a really unique look and really help out uh, when driving at night. And the overall design of the Taycan is very smooth, very sleek, very aerodynamic. Uh, so you don't even want the door handle sticking out when you're driving to kind of create some dis and disrupt that airflow. So they actually have automatic door handles. So when you have a key in your pocket, all you have to do is stick your hand underneath the door and they pop right out. And this Turbo S has the panoramic fixed glass roof, uh, which lets tons of light in and gives you just kind of that great uh, open airy feel. Now, let's check out the rear of the Taycan. You're gonna notice, uh, first of all, that it has the single tail light, uh, the single LED strip, which looks really cool. It's kind of the new way Porsche is going with a lot of their different vehicles. Um, it also has the glass Porsche logo, which I really like. I, you, you don't necessarily notice the difference from, from farther away, but when you get it up close, just kind of the look of this Porsche logo is really awesome. And then you can get a variety of different coloring for, or for your Taycan Turbo S for the brand, the model logo here. Um, you can get change that, have that uh, stand, blend in with a paint color or stand out and be more dynamic. Uh, there's so many options with a Porsche, which is really cool. Another really neat feature of the Taycan is that it has a three-stage rear spoiler. So when you hit a certain mile per hour threshold, it'll expand uh, and kind of extend that rear spoiler at three different levels. All right, let's talk just a little bit about the trunk here. Uh, you just hit the little button down here, kind of below the logo, and it automatically opens. And this is where all of your charging cables are gonna be, uh, but you also have plenty of room in this rear trunk uh, for all of your items and luggage and things like that. And so the Taycan comes with all of the charging cables that you need, and I actually like, because you can lock this bag here. There's some, some uh, anchors in the back of the trunk, so you can lock this bag so it's not gonna roll around or move around at all. It's gonna be locked in place, um, but you still have easy access to any of the items that you need. And it comes with all the charging cables and the adapters in order to plug into any sort of charging and charge your vehicle in any sort of situation. And we'll do a full, bigger breakdown on how to actually charge the Taycan and how everything works in a future video. So be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video. So because it's an electric vehicle, there is actually no engine up here in the front, uh, which gives you a little extra luggage space. Uh, so let's open up this front trunk here. And you can see we have just enough kind of room. This could be great for like a bag or a duffel bag or anything like that. Um, possibly even your carry-on if you're traveling somewhere. Um, but it's just a great little bit of extra storage that's available to you right here in the front of the vehicle. So let's talk about performance. The Taycan Turbo and the Taycan Turbo S have two permanent magnet synchronous motors, one on each axle. The effect of this is really superior driving dynamics. Um, it's going to allow you to kind of have that all wheel drive capability and because of the different driving modes that are available with the Taycan, um, you're gonna be able to adjust that to your needs so you can alternate from being more efficient driving to a more dynamic drive based on the way, based on the situation you're in or your style of driving.
So on the rear axle, we actually have a two-speed transmission, which is going to really improve your driving dynamics because it's gonna allow you to just be more efficient in your takeoff and then uh, get higher top speeds. Uh, so it's really cool that they're actually able to put a two automatically switching two-speed transmission in electric vehicle. That then brings us to the overboost. What the overboost is gonna allow us to do, it's activated during launch control, but that's what really allows you to have that takeoff of the Taycan Turbo S can do a zero to 60 in 2.6 seconds repeatedly. So it's not just that one time launch, but it's gonna be able to launch again and again and again, uh, which is really awesome. And what's gonna make the Taycan Turbo S really stand out from all other electric sports cars. Taycan battery is designed for performance. So this battery is built on an 800 volt platform where most batteries in electric vehicles are built on that 400 volt platform. And what this means is that uh, the Taycan is able to charge more efficiently and have better driving performance. Braking is gonna be extremely important in any sports car and the Taycan is no different. And that is why the Taycan Turbo S comes standard with Porsche's ceramic composite brakes. All right, let's jump inside the Taycan now and kind of check out the interior. It has been very redesigned from any other Porsche out there and it's really awesome. So first of all, just the cockpit. So the seat is kind of designed to keep you here in the center and you still have all of your controls and easy arms reach away. Uh, everything's kind of right up here so you can navigate and handle anything on the road in a very smooth, simple fashion. So the big thing you're gonna notice, we have touch screens. The first one you're gonna notice is this 16.8 inch display right here in front of you, kind of that virtual cockpit, and it is a curved display, which means that everything is right here, uh, and it is a touch display, so you can turn things on, um, kind of here at the edges. It has uh, for your lights, uh, for traction controls, and a few other things. Um, and then, of course, you still have your uh, you have some dials here to kind of move through different settings from navigation um, to uh, review your route to compass. Um, so you can have a compass here on this side uh, and just all kinds of other types of information, which is really cool. Um, then if you jump over, you can also manipulate the gauge on this other side uh, to a variety of different things um, from your tire information. You can have that there. You can go uh, up to the PDCC information, uh, or you can check out uh, your all wheel and kind of tells you what, how everything's performing there. Um, or you can jump and even see the G-force. I kind of like that one, that it'll show you the different G-forces that you have here um, as you're driving. Um, and you have a couple different settings within that as well. And let's jump back over here go back and see what else we have. We also have traffic signs, so it'll do traffic sign recognition. Um, that's there. And assistance, driver's assistance uh, for your assistance cruise control. Uh, and then you can even move and adjust your middle to the power meter to a map. So you can actually have navigation right up here, uh, which is great. Or you can do the extended map. And then this extended map actually takes over all the gauge displays. So you have your miles per hour in the center, um, but then you have the entire map there. And again, this curved display makes it fit just perfectly. Uh, or you can uh, kind of reduce everything down and have your very simple, just mile per hour and kind of basic information that you need here on your display, which is really great. My favorite the power meter is pretty cool because it'll show you when you're in uh, recuperation phase. Uh, so if you're, um, the nice thing is you can recuperate up to 90% of the Taycan's battery uh, when you're braking or kind of when you're slowing down, things like that. Um, and so this will show you if you're in that phase or it can show you when you're in the actual boost mode uh, and really uh, going to launch there. But, so that's kind of the curved display. Uh, you also have some displays right here uh, in the center console and kind of in that head up display, or in that center console 
top display. So down here, first of all, this is gonna be where all of your uh, heating, heated seats uh, and all of those, all your climate controls are. You can also shift it to, uh, by tapping there, you can jump to the map up here. So they wanna have some quick access buttons up here. So you can go map, you can tap up here and bring up music. Uh, you can tap connect your phone or you go into uh, the system settings uh, and then you just kind of scroll here. So these are kind of your hot buttons, if you will. Um, we're going to go back to navigation, but then you have uh, dual climate controls right here. Now, this is kind of interesting. I found it interesting is um, when we were talking about the when we popped the trunk earlier, the front trunk earlier, you actually tap a little button right here and then it gives you uh, different items you can open. So you can open the trunk, uh, you can open kind of the side AC port if you wanna open that up so somebody can quick charge it, uh, you can do that. Or you're, there's the AC, the DC AC one on the other side, that's there. Um, you can close it from here too, which is really neat. Or you can pop the trunk or you can pop the trunk in the back or pop the front trunk as well. And then you can tap here and see your charge level. And you see here right now we're at 77% uh, with a range of 157 miles. Uh, and then uh, it just shows your charge level. And you're gonna notice there's this big kind of open area right here. This is actually to help you navigating the screen. The, the, so you don't have to, you can reach up and touch things up here. Um, that's definitely possible, but I, it's actually super easy just to kind of can leave your arm resting on the on the center console here, and go through and kind of switch through and go through different things and find everything. Go to your different settings. Go to charging and bring up the charging uh, up there. Or if you want to start searching for navigation, or go down to music. Go down to navigation, climate. You can manage up here, service. All these different items can be navigated to just from this little touchpad down here. And this is where we can get into some of the drive modes. So again, we can you can navigate from here, which is nice, you can, and you can navigate from here, which is also really great. So you can have kind of maximizing range is one of the driving modes, and that'll change a bunch of, a bunch of settings in your vehicle in order to make sure we get as much range as possible. Or you can jump into, say, Sport Plus. You're gonna have less range, but you're gonna get uh, some great performance from the vehicle there. Uh, and it, it adjusts all these different settings. And if you ever wanna go back, you can always click there and it kind of jumps back, the little arrow here on this touchpad and jumps back to there. And then, uh, so this kind of goes through all your settings and we'll do another video. I don't wanna take time to go through every single setting here, but we'll go and dive through in a more in-depth video on the settings for the Taycan here in the future. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. So this council right here is actually known as the communication council. So that's what this kind of here is here. Here anybody referring to the communication council, it's this top part here that really it is a touch screen. So you can just tap it, turn things on or off uh, or go into different menu settings and things like that. But that's what that is. If you're ever wondering uh, what people are talking about, this is the communication uh, center. And your center council control panel is this right here. And that's the eight like 8.4 inch display, touchscreen display right here in easy reach. So that way you can, again, kind of just look up and watch things without having to actually reach up and really, uh, it just makes it nice and easy. So when you're driving, you can easily navigate and make those changes that you need to make. And last thing I wanted to talk about here on the interior of the vehicle is that it is uh, seats four. Um, so it is very roomy uh, the, and here in the back, you actually have full control, climate control from, you even have heated seats in this model, um, a nice little uh, storage spots, um, cup holders, which is also awesome. Uh, but there's plenty of room here in the back for an adult. I'm 6'2 and able to easily fit uh, and sit back here. Nice, comfortable ride um, and just nice finishing touches here when you kind of look at all this where it has like the nice logos and the nice just leather finishes. Uh, so I highly recommend you checking out this vehicle.
last thing I wanted to show you here on the Taycan is just where you actually charge the vehicle up. Um, there are chargers on both sides, uh, and one is for AC only, and one is a DC AC. Um, and we're, like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna do a full video on the breakdown of all the different charging settings and how to actually charge it and just how to get your charging system at home. Uh, we'll do a full breakdown on that in a future video. But in order to open uh, from the outside here, all you have to do, wave your hand underneath, and it opens right up. No pushing, no touching, you just kind of wave your hand, it'll open up, wave it again, and it'll close. Pretty simple. And that's a quick overview of the Taycan. We have several more videos in the next few weeks, uh, so be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single one of those, and let me know what questions you still have about this vehicle. Leave them in the comments, I'll be happy to uh, make another video and get those questions answered for you. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video.